Welcome back, Honest Man Skyrim Optimized, here with Mary Abernathy, continuing our escapades in Solstheim. A little bit of housekeeping, between episodes I did take a trip up to High Harothgar to chat with the Greybeards a little bit, and I also retrieved the Dawnbreaker Sword. I was fortunate to find a second blacksmithing potion that temporarily improved my blacksmithing by 40%. I know they get better than that, but that's what I had on hand. So I was able to smith the Dawnbreaker up to 65 damage uh, based on my current skill level here with 10 points of burn. So that brings its total to 75, which is actually identical to my Skyforge Steel Sword, but much better for undead. In the process, I was also able to give a little bit of a bump to my armor and I also switched to these Scaled Boots of Imminent Sneaking, which is a 30% sneak bonus instead of Muffle. I thought that I could get away with that because I'm now high enough in Sneak to invest into Muffled Movement. So the Scaled Boots will give me better defense than the Shrouded Boots with Muffle. Also noteworthy here is that we are now character level 32. So I picked up a couple of levels doing my errands there and in so doing, was able to sort of max out my one-handed training. Maximum in this case just being in reference to the fact that the companion trainer can only bring us to 75. So he did as much as he could, and then I switched gears to light armor. And I was able to put two levels worth of training into light armor, bringing us all the way up to 51. I hope that it goes without saying, but I was obviously trying to minimize waste in terms of the bonus XP. So, train a few levels, go get hit by something, train a few more levels, etc. That was part of my rationale for doing the trip to High Harothgar, actually, uh, so I could just get smacked a couple times on my way up the mountain. Now, I do want to note that none of the companions in Whiterun train light armor, so I did have to go elsewhere for that. And there are a few different options that you could use, but I chose to go to the gal in Riften. In so doing, I stole back a little bit of gold, but I just paid outright for most of that training. Uh, as you can see, Pickpocket over here is level 49. And again, just trying to take a measured approach in how I'm managing my character level at this point in the game. I didn't want to start exploding Pickpocket through the roof and get into you know the infinite level up loop of getting so many pickpocket levels that my character level would go up and I'd train some more and then get another level etc 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 we are still vulnerable to that at this character level 32 so just trying to slow play it a little bit we're getting really close though we're getting to the cusp of where sort of the balloon is going to pop and we're going to start pushing things really aggressively for now, though, it's time to get back into the action and excavate a dungeon. Just leave me be. What's the matter with you? With me? What's the matter with you? Sorry, I've just had a lot of hawk-faced cowards coming by to mock my efforts. Ugh. It probably can't hurt to tell you. You look mostly honest. The name's Rallis. Rallis Sidaris, out of Morhold. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here in the interests of obtaining some rare antiquities. The relics of Arzador. Mm. But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. You come out of the Northern Ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy, you know. But this was something outside my particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Buried in the ash, like most other things on this blasted island. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Who knows how much to reach the door. Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you can dig. Why not hire some miners out of Ravenrock to help? 
You think I've got that kind of money? No. I only get paid on delivery. Can't afford to go out of pocket for a thousand septums on this. Takes money to make money, all that rot. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. Hmm. So what's this treasure you're after? You ever hear of Azadol? He was the first great Nord enchanter, maybe even the first human to master Elven methods. His best work was buried with him, though. A set that my patron calls the Relics are supposed to be down in his tomb. Now, they're old, and they're powerful. A combination like that makes them pretty valuable to certain people. And I happen to know certain people. Hmm. Well, I've got some money. How about we partner? What? Are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I could make that work. We can sort out the details about an arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. Do you have the gold? Of course. Hmm. It's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. Pleasure doing business with you, partner. I'll see you soon. The Journal of Raelis Sidaris, Volume 19. Moving on to Solstheim next, chasing after vague rumors of this Kilborn Barrow. My patron seems confident we can find the relics of Azadal there. I'm a bit skeptical. But so long as he pays well, I'll dig wherever the old coot likes. Initial prospects look poor, to say the least. I was sure I had my map wrong at first, until it became clear that the place had just been lost to the ash. I'll dig out as much as I can, maybe see if I can recruit some of the local residents to help me out. I haven't seen anyone since I got out of Raven Rock, but I keep hearing conversations and whispers around me, so I just need to track them down. Hmm. Checking in on our investment here. Looks like he has some workers. Not a lot of progress yet, but they're working on it. It's a Nordic rune, thousands of years old. Indeed. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Got this from a pretty excited looking dark elf around Raven Rock. He said it was important I got it to you as soon as I could. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I hope this message finds you quickly, Mary Abernathy. We've completed the initial excavation, but I've run into some unexpected difficulties. Come as soon as you can, your partner, Rallis. Oh, looks like some good progress. Oh, it's you. What's going on? This isn't good. We only got a little ways in when something managed to wake up the Draugr. Before I could blink, all the miners were dead, and I was next in line. Don't think anyone else made it out alive. This is what I get for skimping on labor. Hmm. What now? Well, unless you want to deal with the Draugr, this whole little venture of ours is over. Might be over either way. It looked like a dead end before the place started crawling. We could have missed something, though. I don't know. Hmm. The Journal of Raelis Sidaris, Volume 20. This excavation is going to be one of the harder ones, I can tell. Hired some diggers out of Raven Rock. They all said they were experienced miners, 
but I guess they're not used to running into trouble as they dig. In a place like this, you never know what's buried long ago, and have to be ready for whatever you come across. In any case, there were some unfortunate losses when the sleeping dead weren't quite sleeping and weren't quite dead. Operation is stalled unless my friendly partner is able to find enough coin for us to hire some replacements. Maybe it's time to take up a collection from the constant spectators who gather to mock me. And that's the loop. Uh, we pay him to excavate the ruin. Several days pass. Obviously, I'm going to edit all of that out. But a lot of time passes. He runs into trouble. We come in and clear it out. And then we pay him some more to dig even deeper and repeat. The good news is that there's a lot of treasure to be had. The bad news is that the excavation is very expensive. It's 11,000 gold in total. I already paid him 1,000, and I happen to have 10,617 to my name. So we have just enough, and part of that is by design. When I'm going through and looting things, I'm not just going to the vendor and just liquidating constantly. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm usually hoarding as much as I can to assist with enchanting and crafting later on. And also just, if I don't need the money, I'd rather have the item in the short term. And that way when I pick up things like the Mask of Clavicus Vile, right, all these items that I've been hoarding, I'm going to get much better return once I'm able to maximize my bartering. In any event, time to get our hands dirty. That didn't take long. Putting the Dawnbreaker straight to use. And I can see here we got a dead miner. Alright, Ayla. Distract him. I'm gonna run the flank. Oh, yes. to get that sneak there. Better run. Here we go. Azadal's boots of water walking. Uh, these would have been on the pedestal, but the Dawnbreaker blasted them off. These boots illustrate what we're after here. They have water walking, which is a nice effect in and of itself, but the more important part is the second enchantment on these boots, which says if you wear any four relics of Azadal, plus 10% enchanting. So that's what we're after. We're after that 10% enchanting. And to get it, we have to accumulate these relics. Any luck? I've dealt with the Draugr and found a way past the dead end. Well, perhaps there's some hope for us yet. Now, I have to go recruit some more miners. It won't be easy seeing as none of their friends came back from the first attempt. We'll have to sweeten the pot a bit this time. I think I'll need... Say, 2,000 septums to hire replacements. All right, here you go. I never get tired of that sound. It'll take me a few days to dig up some more laborers, but swing back when you get a chance. See how we're doing. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Another note from your friend Rallis. I hope everything is all right. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I don't want you to panic, but I need to see you at the Barrow. Quickly. <laughs> Signed, Rallis. And now you're back. Great. Just great. <laughs> what is it this time? Draugr again. 
I mean, we should have expected it, right? Yeah. What else do you find in these damned crypts? But waves and waves of Draugr. At least six of the diggers are dead. The rest of them ran off, and I don't blame them. You've had some luck with these things before. Do you think you could go back in? See if anyone's still alive. Volume 21. My invisible quote-unquote friends have kept it up, drawing closer. It took me a while to realize they were hiding themselves, but I figure it's out of shame. It takes a certain type of cowardice to spend all your time questioning a man's worth and value. You'd think they'd have the decency to at least let me sleep, but they persist even there. As for the dig, we continue to stall out with the opposition from within the barrow. I had hoped the hardy people of this island would be able to deal with the shuffling bones, but I appear to have overestimated them. I won't make that mistake again. So we see evidence of Rallis's mental state deteriorating here. He has these invisible friends that keep talking to him. Hmm. All right. Jesus. It's a target rich environment. These guys are all really basic, though. Okay, variety of handles here. Let's try it. Well, it's gotta be one of them. Here we go. There we go. What the hell? Clear. A lot of dead miners again. Muriel's letter to Mother. Mother, I understand your worries, but there's really nothing that should frighten you that much. The first crew working here was a bunch of idiots and milk drinkers who didn't know how to watch their own backs. We might run into some trouble, but I've handled trouble before. The one who hired us, Rallis, is a bit of an odd one. I'm keeping my eye on him, though. So don't add that to your fretting. We'll be fine. We'll all be fine. Just worry about you and father and let me worry about myself. We'll talk when I'm home. There should be money enclosed with this. And if it's missing, you should take it out of the courier's hide. Yours, Morelli. There we go. Azadel's ring of necromancy. 
So just need to be a little bit careful if you're using Dawnbreaker like I am. Just understand where the treasures are so you don't miss any. Uh, this ring got knocked off of its pedestal. The Ring of Necromancy is probably really good for conjurers. It says, whenever a creature you have reanimated takes damage, they explode for 50 points of frost damage. Any news? I've defeated the Draugr and located the missing miners. They're all dead. I should have figured. Damn. Well, at least we can get back to work. But hazard pay keeps piling up. Mm -hmm. And this won't be getting any cheaper. I'm going to hire some mercenaries this time, too. Having some people around who know how to fight should. Well, it'll set the miners at ease, and hopefully keep them alive. But they won't be cheap, either. It's going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Have you got that on you? I do. We're going to be making this back 50-fold, partner. Trust me on this. I'll go hire a new crew and some brawny types to keep them safe. Come back and check in on us. Nothing can stop us this time. Right. Huh? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Another letter from Rallis. He's starting to scare me a little. <laughs> Looks like that's it. Got to go. I hope you're not angry, but I may need some more resources. Come around when you have time. Oh, well, you're alive. It's rough. Those soldiers weren't worth much. Hmm. Oh, well, I was hoping I wouldn't see you quite so soon. What does that mean? Looks like at least some of the miners survived. Yes, well, the mercenaries did their jobs. Worth every septum. Of course, they might disagree. The dead ones, anyway. Gods. What a disaster. I feel like we've done this before, but that just means we're getting good at it. You go make the Draugr dead again, and I'll keep the rest of these Enwars from dumbing off. Well? Rallis's Journal, Volume 22. If it weren't for the comfort brought by my invisible friend, I would have fled this place long ago. I wish I had realized earlier that it was not a group, but a master who contains multitudes. He's guided me into a true understanding of the Barrow, and I greatly desire to meet with him. My insight into this place is now so intuitive, so fundamental, that I almost feel as if I built it myself. I explained to the workers how to use the tile set, but they seemed too afraid or uncoordinated to properly step on each tile quickly enough. No problems. Nothing that the master cannot solve. We will be able to converse properly soon enough. Hmm. Alright, let's do it to it. That was Ayla. <laughs> All right.
Okay, so this is what was mentioned in the journal. piece of cake. You just have to step on all of them fast enough. So just a concentric circle does the trick. Now. Oh. <laughs> See, Ela, this is why we have the boots. And we can just walk on the water. Okay, so there was supposed to be an item up here. Must have gotten knocked off from the Dawnbreaker. There it is. Azadal's Ring of Arcana. of warding and the gauntlets decrease the effectiveness of your wards but in return they absorb 50% of magicka from incoming spells so interesting trade off there the ring meanwhile allows you to cast spells ignite and freeze well they're dead good I'm glad I can count on you I think we're almost to the bottom of the barrel, but it's going to be everything I can do to find more miners. We've developed quite the reputation, but for enough gold, I can do it. Just barely. How much? Five thousand. All right, make it happen. I know you could almost buy a house for that much, but like I said, We've got quite the reputation out here. And coin is the only counterweight for a bad reputation. Have you got the money? Yep. Do it. Good, good. This time I'll spring for some more experienced muscle. That should do the trick. <laughs> right. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got another letter from Rallis, but this is the last thing I'm delivering for him. That place is just too much for me. Looks like that's it. Got to go. <laughs> You're needed. Uh-oh. They're dead up here. Turner of Rallis Sidaris, volume 23. Lord Azadal demands more blood, and I give it willingly. The hired men have somewhat pitiful souls, so it sometimes takes several of them to achieve the desired effects. I won't be writing anymore. There is no need. The time has come to awaken the master and bring him to the fate he deserves. Great. Oh. Yeah, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. games with Mary Abernathy.
There we go. Yeah, Hawk Hawk on the wall there. Simple enough. Whale Whale, though. Azadal's Armor of Retribution. So the armor says, enemies who strike you with a melee attack have a small chance of being paralyzed. And if you've been keeping track, this is item number five, but two of them were rings and you can't wear multiple rings. So this is now officially the fourth item we can equip simultaneously along with the boots which means that we now do have access to Azadal's genius. Increases your enchanting by 10 points. So we could actually just leave right now, uh, if that's all we're after. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish what I started here. Ah. So we had, oh, wait a minute. There we go. So we had Hawk Hawk to open the grate and then Whale Whale to get the treasure upstairs. How about Snake Snake? Hey. Oops. Missed that. And it looks like it fell off its little pedestal here, but this is the helmet. Azadal's Helm of Vision. Your conjuration and rune spells cost 25% more, but can be cast at greater range. This guy has really strong fire magic, uh, but unfortunately I don't have any fire resist. But I do have some magic resist, so I'm going to pop this guy. What's the deal, man? Oh, God. What happened? What have I done? Well, at minimum, you killed all these miners. <laughs> What's going on here? I... Uh, I don't remember. Ever since I got here to... to... Uh, Colbill, I've heard whispers. Voices. Thoughts. Imagining. They've only gotten louder since I've stayed. Pounding, driving. A couple of times I blacked out. It was... It was just before the Draugr woke up. Hmm. Did you kill these miners? I don't know. I... 
Maybe. It's what... It's what he wanted. He just needed their energy. I don't know. I hope I didn't. But maybe I... Please, you have to believe me. I believe you. Just don't come back here. Of course. I don't even want to hear the word barrel again. Ever. I'll go to Ravenrock and you... You won't mention this to anyone. If you see me there, just give a nod and I'll lend you a hand if you need it. It's, it's the least I can do. Just uh, keep this quiet. <laughs> right. And our final treasure here, Azadal's Mask, increases fire resistance by 50% which would have been nice just now, and fire spell damage by 25%. So similar to the other masks that we saw, just with fire, very tasty item for a mage build, of course. As for Sadars, there's no real incentive to kill him. He has a unique pickaxe, which you can loot from his body, but he's available as a follower now, so you can just as easily you know, interact with his inventory that way. So the benefit is really to let him live, and then he's a potential follower. And from what I understand, he's actually really good dual wielding. So just FYI on that. In any case, we're not quite done yet. Don't see that every day. Black book. Filament and filigree. It's gonna be a big nasty guy here. Engage him in his puddle, though. So we want to draw him out of there. And they still have trouble dealing with height discrepancies. And power shot is just too good. And then we're all set. Secret of Strength. Power attacks cost no stamina for 30 seconds. Secret of Arcana. Spells cost no magicka for 30 seconds. Secret of Protection. You take half damage for 30 seconds. None of these are particularly great. This isn't what we came here for, but it's just sort of gravy. Uh, I'm going to go with Secret of Protection. And that's going to be a wrap. We managed to collect Azadal's armor set, which is a critical component to our endgame crafting, but there's still more to come. Until then, thank you all so much. Please like and subscribe. This has been Honest Man. Me and Mary Abernathy are going to see you next time for more Skyrim Optimized.